I am here, you guys, to prove that someone with zero skills, I mean zero skills at all, can pull off a van build. So what I'm going to focus on today is organizing um, some of this stuff that I've just thrown in the back. The stuff in the back right now is mostly the stuff that I want to store in the Thule rooftop cargo box. Um, so that's what I'm going to work on, try to organize that and get that packed up. <sighs> the closer um, we get to the end of the month the more excited I am. So <laughs> you guys, this is really happening. I, I can't even believe it. A no build minivan build. I mean, it just takes some, you know, Tetris like moves and fitting stuff together and, um, trying to figure out what's going to work for you. For instance, I had originally bought, um, I'll show you once I get out and <laughs> but I have a stool that has like hidden storage inside and I bought a camp toilet that fits perfectly inside but I still find it too bulky inside the van and I do want to keep the toilet for like you know number two emergencies um but otherwise I'm just going to use it when I'm camping at a campsite or boondocking um, I have a different setup for washroom situations, um, but I'll, I'll go into that later. Uh, I thought I was going to need a sink. Turns out I really don't need a sink, so why waste the space? Just do what's going to work for you. Maybe you absolutely need a sink, and that is your must-have. For myself, I think my must-have is, well, obviously my fridge. I have a condition called psoriatic arthritis and I have to take um, an injection once every two weeks and I have to store my injections in a refrigerator. So um, that is my must-have. Um, behold the mess. That is my van. Have a toilet inside, see? But it takes up a lot of floor space. So I think I'm just, this folds up, the stool folds up nice um, and stores away. So I think I'm gonna store all this up in the Thule so that I can, yeah, have more space. As you can see, I have a lot of stuff that um, I'm not going to be needing access. Like my backpacks, I have like a 50 liter pack, a 36 liter pack. I have a 28 liter pack that's not in here because I, I use that one often. Extra sleeping bags. My dog Jasper, her um, traveling folding kennel is there so that I can store that up top as well. All right, better get started. <laughs> I have so much to organize. Oh my God. Oh, one more thing. Don't laugh, but because I am not handy and I really wanted a wood floor, I got this. It's actually a carpet. I bought it off of Amazon. <laughs> so it looks like a wood floor, but I didn't have to do anything <laughs> except lay it out. And behold, the mess that is my kitchen area. <laughs> oh my goodness, I've got my window covers just here, um, ready to get stored behind the futon, which is in there underneath the kennel. Here is the Ikea desk that I have in here, and there's my fridge. Um, I have this space here that I need to get something different for my food storage. 
open. This one here just kind of flips up, gives me nice access and my water jug fits nicely on top. I'll have to strap it all down once it's full, of course. I've got my butane kind of stored in there. Here, I'll show you what's going on inside of the desk. I've got these like childproof. Uh, of course, I'm gonna do like a proper van tour once I'm finished, but like this is just kind of got this little fire extinguisher here. And then underneath these little cutting boards, I have just a few things that I need. I don't need much. That is the update on the kitchen. Oh, um, also, if anyone is wondering what this hanging thing is, that is an Outward Hound um, water dish for Jasper. Well, I leave it in the van all the time because we're always out hiking and stuff and it's so easy to just give her a drink of water. I fold it inside out, shake off the excess and hang it up to dry. It's perfect. Okay, you guys, I've got all the stuff that I want packed into the Thule. I'm hoping it's going to close and lock. Oh my gosh. Come on, baby, close. Oh, she closes! Yes! Okay, better check that back. I forgot a few things. Isn't that always the way? <laughs> okay. okay, so I have the two camping chairs in there. Just need to get that yoga mat right here. Up there somewhere. Probably just in the middle, I think. I'll leave that space open for something that I may have missed. So this is the IKEA futon that I managed to fit into the van. I had to only use a third of the frame. As you can see here, there are three pieces that work together to make the futon go up and down. So what I did was just use the seat portion where you sit and the mattress just kind of folds without the frame and I used a bungee cord here. These are just my rain guards. They're ready for me to install but I used a bungee to hold the mattress together and secure it to the frame as well. You can see I have a filing cabinet in here. Oh, and um, if you're wondering, <laughs> so my dog Jasper really loves to hang out underneath this futon. Um, we've been using it for about three months and she loves to hang out. So I have sacrificed the storage space to give her her own area inside the van. 
I did remove the seats, um, the middle row of stow and go seats. So I do have other stuff stored under there, um, just underneath the carpet. I've got stuff stored in here. Oh, you can see it's uh, obviously just stuff I don't need to get to right away. So I'll take you to the back. There you have the basic layout of my no-build minivan camper. Mm -hmm.